Please remain standing for the prayer of invocation. Shall we pray? Faithful creator, strong redeemer, light to illumine our path. With joyful hearts, we have gathered to celebrate our graduating class. Grateful for their intellectual and practical skills, but mostly for their wisdom and compassion. Grace our assembly with your presence, we pray. And grant to our graduating students, and indeed to our entire community, resilience to endure hard times, humility to serve the most vulnerable, creativity to pioneer new ways ahead, and faith, hope, and love to transform society in anticipation of your kingdom of love that is coming. Through Christ, who lives with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. أصحاب السيادة والسعادة أيها الحفل الكريم نحن هنا اليوم في فرصة احتفالية في جامعة هايجازيان بالرغم من استمرار بلدنا الحبيب في معاناة معاناة الفشل والتراجع في نواحي عدة ومع ذلك في التعليم العالي ينصب تركيزنا على تنمية المجتمع والإنسانية لمعالجة الفشل البشري والانحلال على وجه التحديد اليوم نجدد التزامنا ببذل خسارة جهدنا من أجل الجيل القادم ونتمنى لخريجينا توجها ناجحا في الحياة اليوم وغدا هلا ايها الخريجون والخريجات حان الوقت لشكر اهلنا واهلكم للامتنان لمرافقه والديكم واهلكم ودعمهم والذين ادعوهم للوقوف الاهل يوقفوا اعطونا الفرصه نشكركم تقفلوا للاهل بليز يا اهل يعني انتو اخر اربع سنين ويكبتو ورافقتو وولادكن وهن بالجامعة ايام صعبة بيركن الله اليوم صلنا بهذا اليوم المبارك تفضل سيريلي شرچانا بارتنير يفهر ازاد هيرير بوكيشن شوغي داروان عايس اوره بوركانال عمبودا زلدا Երկնա գամարը։ Այս որը բդուղ նեհարադև աշխադանքի և հույսի։ Ուսանողի եդին եղած է և գա տասախոս ծնող թբրոց եգեցի 68 ամյա համալսարան պարավոր հոքե մդավոր մշագութային ու ասկային ժարանքություն։ Կա ն Եվ ընդիր բդուղներու եդին չմորնանք պնավ պնդրել հարազադություն հոգի ել, նամանավանդ արմատ։ Չսպասենք անուշ բդուղի առանց ծաղիգի։ Չպնդրենք ծաղիգ առանց առողջ ջուղի։ Չպնդրենք լավ ջուղ առանց ամուր ունի։ Կամպուն Հողի մասին է խոսածս, բայց այսօրը այսօր չսկսա։ Պնդրեցեք արմատները, պնդրեցեք ծարը, 
ndrecek të zahit nuk e duhet. Ardonecek për na e vishem, por në erëshën që vajt, në erëshën që veca e sor, asë doherë, barës doherë, i shelu, por ove dhe vajsor merhet në në kesap në anëgjarë. Osen. Isk merë ka relik të asërë ajës orin agen, të stagen arten, amen hajë. Merë usë më nagam më shagutajnë zëra kirënerovë e vëstegëzatës më të më lordovë, menë këpidi sharnagen këpë batë velë li pananë, hajastan hajirenikë, në vira perelovë merë lavakujnë, paroja ganë, jevë kristone e ganë, hoke më davorë, avantovë. Aj gazjani, aj së rakelutjunë, jë sharnakvi, minë që menë këtë batë rastë vinkë, merë jotan asun amjakin. Now, dear graduates, you have heard many good messages in the past few years as students. So let me add, maybe, a, another brief one. We are all aware of a contradiction, among many contradictions. We are aware, aware of a contradiction in this rapidly evolving human civilization. It is the contradiction between unlimited access to knowledge, information, and opportunity on the one hand, and awareness of our limitations on the other. The limitless access to, to so much is often highlighted and celebrated. We celebrate the fact that today I have lots of knowledge, lots of access, lots of opportunities here and there, but accepting our limitations is usually overlooked. Our growth and development will not come true because of open access, but more so because of our awareness of our limitations and our boundaries. Therefore, a word of advice to you, dear graduates. Accept that you have limitations so that you may develop the inner gifts you have been granted. There is no education, no reform, no, de no development unless you acknowledge your and other people's limitations. But your limitations are not the end. Your limitations are your chance for a disciplined future. Your limitations are your beginning. They will give you the exact mark from which you start growing and serving. Awareness of limitations will give you the humility to be open for new learnings. It will give you the right heart to turn in inhibition into gratitude and growth. So, the higher the education, the higher the need for acknowledging our limitations. And hopefully what will follow is openness for inquiry and growth as a mindset in you and a practice in life. I'm certain that some of this you must have heard and learned at Paigazian, and you will confidently continue to grow and shine in the future. Now, before introducing our guest speaker, I would also like to acknowledge the presence of most, maybe many, of the board members of the Haigazian Board of Trustees and the leadership of the Armenian Missionary Association of America, to whom we give thanks for their dedication and guidance. Now to our distinguished guest speaker of the day. It is Dr. Hasmik Baran, who holds a Doctor of Education from the University of Southern California and a Master of Arts in Educational Leadership and Policy Studies from California State University, Northridge. Her career in the educational field began in Dahran, Saudi Arabia, and continued in the United States, both the private and public sector. Currently, Dr. Baran is a professor at California State University, Northridge, with the Department of Modern and Classical Languages and Literatures, the Armenian Studies Program. Dr. Baran holds membership in many professional organizations and is an active member of the Armenian American community and holds numerous positions in academic circles as well. It is of a special honor that today's speaker is also the chair of the Board of Trustees of Haigazian University, a rare opportunity in So warmly welcome, Dr. Baran. Thank you. Good evening. 
Today is a day of great celebration, and I am honored to be part of it. Thank you for inviting me. I understand that on a day of such high excitement, but far from first and foremost of any speaker, I shall not fail. In thinking of what to share that would be relevant worth listening to, a line from Kipling's famous poem, If, kept resonating in my ears. How do you keep your head when all around you are losing? Hence my topic today. How do you move forward amidst overwhelming challenges? While the question may sound too broad, I have highlighted a few perspectives to respond to this question pause. In general, people want happiness, peace, and satisfaction. However, what prevails around us is conflict, crisis, and despair. How do we keep our heads high when others around us are losing this? First, define success in your own terms. We often hear exhortations like achieve success, become successful, succeed in life. Success is attained, attainment of something desired, planned, or pursued. Since our desires and plans are very personal and are not exactly like anyone else's, you will need to define success for yourselves. What would make you feel that you are a successful human? This is not an easy thing to do in our society today. Success is often equated with wealth and fame. These may be commendable, but they do not necessarily make those who possess them truly satisfied. One example is that Success could be measured not only by the status one has attained in life, but by the obstacles which one has overcome. The feeling of success comes only when you achieve what is most important to you. True success is a personal feeling, not a manifestation that others perceive. Second, attitude. Attitude matters. Attitude is a pattern of thinking. It is a lens through which we see the world and navigate via our experiences. This mental and emotional construct affects our behavior. Attitude is our mind's paintbrush that gives us the ability to design our lives and create happiness through the power of changing our attitude. We are limited only by what we allow ourselves to be limited by. There are two important things we should know about life. That it is not easy and it is not always fair. Therefore, how we respond to these facts will greatly affect our success and life satisfaction. Our attitude makes a difference between seeing an opportunity and confronting a seeming impossibility in an abysmal situation. It is easy to find reasons to complain. It is easy to give up on a dream without trying harder to achieve it. But it is impossible to find satisfaction in negative feelings and behaviors. We don't know what tomorrow will bring, but one thing we do know is that we have the choices, choice as to how to respond to life. Let's embrace a positive attitude and say, I can do it, it can be done, I will do it. Third, be resilient and persevere. Life is full of adversities that cannot be avoided. We will experience disappointment, loss, or change. While they are a normal part of life, such emotions and experiences still cause sadness, anxiety, and stress. But just as physically healthy people are better able to bounce back from illness or injury, people with strong 
mental health are better to bounce back from adversity and stress. This is called resilience. People who are emotionally and mentally resilient have the tools for coping with difficult situations and maintaining a positive outlook. They remain focused, flexible, and productive throughout the roller coaster of life. We all have the capacity for resilience. It just needs to be tapped. If we have emotional resilience, then we can tap into realistic optimism even when we deal with crisis situations. In life, we will face obstacles that might challenge our mindset and perseverance. Every time we go through a crisis or face an internal or external challenge, we discover hidden reserves of courage and resilience within ourselves. Albert Einstein once said, I quote, crisis is the greatest blessing for people and nations because crisis brings progress. It is in crisis that inventive discoveries and strategies rise, end quote. Needless to say, resilience requires personal drive. There's a great psychological variability in how we respond to stressful life events, depending on the level of resi resiliency we have developed. We have to acknowledge that life comes with challenges and setbacks which we can overcome. Understanding the temporary nature of the ups and downs of life will help us remain focused in our goals and not surrender to difficult circumstances. At times, when you feel defeated, see the value of growth mindset and nurture a positive self-view. Have a hopeful outlook on matters and remind yourself of your own efficacy in overcoming past obstacles and that you have the capacity to overcome this one too. If you can't change what has happened, change the way you deal with it. Focus on what you have and not what you don't have. Life doesn't get easier or more forgiving. We get stronger and more determined through resilience to go on to live a happy and fulfilling life. Gibran Khalil Gibran has depicted his view of resilience in the following lines, quote, Life isn't about waiting for the storm to pass. It's about learning how to dance in the rain. Finally, dear class of 2023, allow me to qualify you as class of heroes. Because heroes are not only those who die on the battlefield, they are also ordinary individuals who find the strength to endure overwhelming challenges and emerge victorious. Consider yourself fortunate to have had the opportunity to be educated at this unique institution of higher learning that prepared you academically and spiritually. Emulate your own role models who inspired you to achieve and become the best of yourselves. In turn, as you make your way into the real world, be positive role models for others. Live with integrity, hope, determination, and compassion. Thank God for your blessings. Go into the world that you envision for yourselves and make a difference. Be a candle and shine a light on those who tumble in darkness and make countless candles of them for a brighter world and future. Ayuha al kharijun al أنيكم على تحصيلكم الأكاديمي وأهني أسركم على تضحياتهم وأبارك أساتذكم على تفانيهم في العمل أهني الرئيس هيدوسيان وفريق إدارته على ضمان جودة التعليم في ظل الظروف الصعبة وباسم مجلس الأمناء أقدم خالص التقدير للهيئات التعليمية والإدارية وأتمنى للجميع دوام النجاح والتوفيق سيريلي أشاكتنير Որոսր դեգը շնորավոր եմ ձեզ եւ ձեր ձնողները այս նշանակալի իրագործման համար։ Thank you, շուկրան, շնորհակալություն։
Thank you, Dr. Baran. And uh, now we are also honored to have a board member uh, here with us from New Jersey to bring a special salutation of a proud alumnus, not only as a board member, but primarily as a proud alumnus of Haigazian. Serge Bichakjan is president of Vasco International, a strategic consulting and business advisory practice, has 35 years of international aerospace defense industry experience. Prior to Basco, among other positions, he was Senior Vice President, General Manager of International Programs at Oshkosh Defense, prior to which he spent 14 years with Honeywell International. Mr. Bichakjan is active in numerous NGOs and trade organizations, including the National Defense Industrial Association, Aerospace Industries Association, and so forth. Chak Chan holds a Master of Business Administration degree from Northeastern University and a Bachelor's degree in Business Administration from Haigazian. Mr. Chak Chan. Thank you for that generous introduction, Dr. Aydosian. Good evening, everyone. I'm most honored, grateful, and delighted to be given this opportunity to address you tonight, not just as a member of the Board of Trustees of Haigazian University, but more so as a proud alumnus of 1976. Yes, that was almost 50 years ago, when there were 105 elements in the periodic table, COBOL was the main programming language, and there were no cell phones, no GPS, let alone TikTok or ChatGPT. So I spent almost 18 years of my life in the city block, from kindergarten through high school at AEC right here, and then to my college years at Haigazian. I said almost 18 years because unfortunately, like numerous students in 1975, circumstances here in Lebanon forced me to continue my higher education in the United States. I remember vividly my daily trek from home a few blocks down at Clemenceau, for some of you who know the area, up to Mexique Street. Sometimes I used to make a little detour, stop at the patisserie around the corner for a eclair or something. Uh, or a cheese sandwich at Nonosh next door. Those were part of my sweet formative years. And other times I used to take the long way to Haigazian in front of what is now uh, the CMC Clemenceau Medical uh, Center, where there was a building right next door to it, where on top of it there was a sign that always caught my eye. It was uh, lit in red and it said Honeywell on it. Little did I know that later in life, I was to become one of the executives of this $35 billion, over 100,000 employee company. That is fortunate serendipity. But I would submit serendipity is a process. And I quote from Christian Bush's book on the topic, it's an opportunity to turn chance into good fortune through your own efforts which doesn't always happen in a flash. It often requires an incubation period. Well, I can tell you my initial incubation period was right here at Haigazian. I think we all agree that the foundation for a good education starts at home. Consequently, university education is another stage in the continuity or the continuous journey of lifelong learning. Not only did I obtain my bachelor's degree here at HU, but equally important, I received the foundational knowledge, skills, and traits imparted by this exceptional institution that have informed my life. Compassion, tolerance, gratitude, true friendship, cultural sensitivity, service to community, are a few qualities that come to mind. I hope that all of you graduates, both on both sides, benefited from similar experiences 
and carry them forward as you start the next chapter in your lives. So I was asked to do three things tonight, to be clear, to be brief, and to be seated, all in uh, four minutes. So thus I will close here with three mantras that I live by that perhaps you may agree with. Take them at face value from a fellow alumnus. First is be the best that you can be and make a difference. Make a difference for yourself, your family and loved ones, and for your community. Second is be patient. Be patient knowing that some of your efforts could result in an immediate spark of serendipity, while others will be more like planting seeds for which the fruits will pleasantly surprise you in the future. And last but not least, wherever life takes you, never forget where you came from. Never forget where you came from. Congratulations again to all the alumni of the class of 2023, and may the road rise up to meet you on your journey through life. Thank you. Will the candidates for the degrees of Bachelor of Arts, Bachelor of Business Administration, and Master of Business Administration, the faculty of Business Administration and Economics, please stand. <laughs> Mr. President, the following students have successfully completed all the requirements for the degrees of Bachelor of Arts, Bachelor of Business Administration, and Master of Business Administration, the Faculty of Business Administration and Economics at Haigazian University. I present them now with the approval of the faculty of the university to receive their official diplomas from your hands. By the authority vested in me by the Board of Trustees and by the vote of the faculty of Haigazian University, pursuant to the laws of higher education in Lebanon, I confer upon you and upon those whose names are listed in the program the degrees of Bachelor of Arts, Bachelor of Business Administration, and Master of Business Administration, with all the rights, privileges, and responsibilities pertaining thereto, and in token of which I am happy to present you with the Diploma of the University. Candidates for the degree of Bachelor of Business Administration and Bachelor of Arts in Economics in the Faculty of Business Administration and Economics. Jana Hashem Abdurrahim with honors. Hani Walid Abi Haidar. <laughs> Abdel Karim Hamad Kamal Abu Kura with honors. <laughs> Ren Nizar Abu Muslih. Abdel Hadi Arif Al Khalil. <laughs> Hashem Hamad Amin. <laughs> Mary Siragan Basmajan. Serli Hagop Batuzian. <laughs> Gasia Haig Derderian with high honors.
Dana Hassan Rai. Mary Fadi Halla. Ahmad Hussain Ismail. Karim Ihab Kanj in absentia. Seta Sandy Manouk Sarkis Kaukjian. Nubar Thomas Kasabian. Ferant Neste Rafi Kazjian. Lea Muhammad Khalife. Jana Mukhtar Hamis with honors. André Sej Khachadurian. <laughs> Abdurrahman Jalal Khadib in absentia. <laughs> Ali Zaven Khadirian. <laughs> Jad Nuhat Khair. Rag Rafi Koko Lanyan. <laughs> Rubina Zohrab Kul Sahagyan with honors. <laughs> Barkev Barur Ohan Nes Kuyumjian. Ala Fadi Mansour in absentia. Nicola Raj Mardirosian. <laughs> Saint Murtada Matar in absentia. Zayan Ghassan Muhammad. <laughs> Maria Andre Namur. Sam Ali Nasser in absentia. Narek Barur Hagop Nazaretian. Christine Mesrop Ohannes. Usama Wissam Radwan in absentia. Garod Ovsia Sardijan. Serge Armen Seferian. <laughs> Picor Gregoire Lyon Siraidarian in absentia. Patil Mihran Shahinian with honors. <laughs> Garot Eli Tashjian. Isa Abdurrahman Yassim with honors. Haytham <laughs> Nabil Zantut in absentia. Candidates for the degree of Master of Business Administration in the Faculty of Business Administration and Economics. Hiba Faris Antun in absentia. Biken Kevor Keshichian in absentia. Tamador Salim Dallal Kuwatli in absentia. <laughs> Salpi Shay Valian.
Faculty of Business Students, congratulations. You may be seated. Well, the candidates for the degree of Bachelor of Arts, Bachelor of Science, Masters of Arts in the Faculties of Social and Behavioral Sciences, Humanities and Sciences, please stand. <laughs> Mr. President, the following students have successfully completed all the requirements for the degree of Bachelor of Arts, Bachelor of Science, Master of Arts in the Faculties of Social Behavior Sciences, Humanities, Sciences at Haigazian University. I present them now with approval of the faculty of the university to receive their official diplomas from your hands. By the authority vested in me by the Board of Trustees and by the vote of the faculty of Haigazian University, pursuant to the laws of higher education in Lebanon, I confer upon you and upon those whose names are listed in the program the degree of Bachelor of Arts, Bachelor of Sciences and Master of Arts, with all the rights, privileges and responsibilities pertaining thereto, and in token of which I am happy to present you with the Diploma of the University. Candidates for the degree of Bachelor of Arts in the Faculty of Social and Behavioral Sciences, Daniel Najib Abifaraj in absentia, Marwan Jaber Abul Hassan in absentia, Hiba Hussein Shawish Ahmad. <laughs> Taylor Hagop Akhrabian. Ihab Nidal Al Aridi, Josh George Al Hayek with high honors, Isra Bilal Al Husseini with honors. Petra Imad Al Muhtar with honors. <laughs> Sevada Sako Misak Andonian. <laughs> Alexandra Nishan Antunian. Christelle Garabet Artinian. <laughs> Ohannes Zareh Atamian. <laughs> Elisa Jafar Atwi with honors. Jana Muhammad Ayash. <laughs> Bartine Vahe Bardo. <laughs> Boros Karabet Borosian. Petra Ghazi Bohamdan with honors. <laughs> Selim Bej Dakesian with honors in absentia. Noor Hussain Dirani. <laughs> Maryam Hussam Al Pshinati.
Amal Muhammad Nabil al Najjar. Fatima Shawi Fadil. Ram Nazir Faris with honors. Rita Mihran Rougassian with honors. Nancy Bernard Harutunian. Shariq Hagob Havatian with honors in absentia. Naram Hisham Hawa. Samira Hisham Hijazi with honors. Diana Khodor Homsi. Sela Rafis Kenderian. Amira Hassan Smail. Grace Chantal Kor Kalustian. Aya Hassan Khalife. Yara Ahmad Clayt with honors. Rahaf Ghassan Mkerim with honors. Maya Gabriel Mardinian in absentia. Saint Kamel Mruwe. <laughs> Noor Muhammad Isam Nashawati. <laughs> Tala Ahmad Nashid. Sayer Jihad Nasser. Rain Fadi Zahalan. Hiba Hassan Rudwan. Sara Mahmoud Saad. Dima Ahmad Shab in absentia. Maria Vasken Sherbetian. <laughs> Matthew Thomas Hufani. <laughs> Mustafa Abdullah Swade with honors. Rasil Abdel Qadir at Tayara. Christine Avedis Torosian. Gael Harutun Torosian. Samaher Alondra Munzer Yahya with high honors. Candidates for the degree of Bachelor of Arts in the Faculty of Humanities, Sergio Harut Ashjian. <laughs> Luna Kamal Highway. <laughs> Layan Ayman Aitani. Aras Garabet Pambukian with honors. <laughs> Candidates for the degree of Bachelor of Science in the Faculty of Sciences. Sabine Aysam Abu Ammar.
Nanor Vasken Aiki Akjian with high honors. <laughs> Zainab Ahmad Al Ahmad. <laughs> Walid Khalid Al Qassar. <laughs> Serge Melkona Pikian. Serena Joseph Baza. <laughs> Zainab Hussein Shahab. <laughs> Jessica Rita Ohanesian Shnorokian with honors. <laughs> Lin Suhel Rasamni with honors. Renwa Marwan Halabi. Garo Hachi Kalfayan with honors. Talim Bedros Kendirjan with honors. Mike Bedros Keshishan. <laughs> Nare Ohannes Koronian. <laughs> Aya Fuad Yahya. <laughs> Noor Wajih Yahya with honors. Tariq Shadi Zahalan. <laughs> Candidates for the degree of Master of Arts in the Faculty of Social and Behavioral Sciences. Nabil Ibrahim Atallah in absentia. Kawthar Hassan Bahja. <laughs> Hanadi Muhammad Baidun. Riwa Fadi Qurban in absentia. Alain Sharbe Jibrail. Diana Ali Gharib. Diana Riyad Hashisho in absentia. Aya Isam Jaber in absentia. Abir Rabia Jamul. Zakiya Muhammad Kahul. <laughs> Noor Walid Khouri. <laughs> Hussein Ahmad Klait. Farah Munir Merdas. <laughs> Nermin Salim Sa'asur. <laughs> Eli Joseph Sarkis in absentia. Congratulations, graduates. You may be seated. Certificate of Participation in University Experience Special Program, Siham Hadi Sheer.
أيها الحضور الكرام حاولت كثيراً أن أترجم مشاعري بالكلمات لكنني وجدت نفسي في كل مرة أكتب أمحو من جديد فما من كلمات تعبر بشكل كاف عن مشاعري الآن أربع سنوات قضيتها في حرم هيجازيا هذا الحرم الذي جمعني بأجمل الأصدقاء فأصبحوا عائلتي الثانية ضحكنا، أكلنا، بكينا، قلقنا وحتى غنينا معا فمن يدخل هذا الحرم يسمع صدى ضحكاتنا في كل زاوية من زواياه طريقنا لم تكن سهلة أبدا فهذه الأربعة سنوات كانت مليئة بالتحديات من مشاكل اجتماعية إلى كورونا إلى وضع اقتصادي صعب لكننا وقفنا جميعا يدا بيد في وجه كل الصعاب واستطعنا أن نجتاز الطريق بحب وفرح ونجاح وهذه التحديات بالرغم من صعوبتها إلا أنها علمتنا شيئا مهما جدا علمتنا عدم الاستسلام ونجاحنا هو أكبر دليل على ذلك نحن اليوم نطوي صفحة من صفحات الحياة صفحة كان فيها الجد والاجتهاد رفيقا على الدوام لحظة نودع فيها الدراسة والتعب وجاء وقت الحصاد نحصد فيها ثمرة اجتهادنا مودعين فيها لحظات ضحكات الرفاق ورافعين فيها قبعات الاحترام للدكاترة إننا لا نودع مجرد مكان درسنا فيه فحسب بل نودع ذكريات تعرفنا فيها على أعز الأصدقاء ضحكنا، تخاصمنا، اختلفنا في الأراء لكن لم نختلف على حبنا لبعضنا البعض اليوم تنتهي مسيرتنا في هيجازيان مسيرة مشيناها مع أشخاص جعلوها سلسة وجميلة فتحية شكر وتقدير إلى رئيس جامعة هيجازيان القس بول هيدوستيان شكرا على تعاملكم معنا شكرا على تعاملكم معنا كأشخاص وليس كأرقام أما أنتم يا دكاترتنا فتحية كبيرة لكم لأن عطاءكم ومجهودكم هما سبب وجودنا هنا اليوم أما الشكر الأكبر فهو لعائلتي أنتم كنتم وما زلتم السند الأول والأكبر في حياتي وأنتم يا أصدقائي تحية لكم ولنا نعم فهذا النجاح يتطلب جهدا وتعبا وسهرا وثقة بالنفس ونحن جميعا هنا نتيجة كل ذلك وأخيرا وليس آخرا تحية خاصة من القلب إلى الدكتور الذي كان قدوة لجميع تلاميذه إلى من رحل وترك أثرا كبيرا في نفس كل من عرفه إلى الدكتور سميح عزار دكتور دكتور وعدتك قبل أن تفارقنا أن ترى اسمي على لائحة الشرف وها أنا هنا اليوم قد نفذت الوعد دكتور عزار تحية لروحك فأنت ما زلت هنا في قلب كل واحد منا زملائي أتذكرون كم مرة قلقنا بسبب امتحان صعب؟ كم مرة درسنا سويا وشجعنا بعضنا البعض؟ كم مرة بكينا من الضحك؟ كنا دائما نحلم معا بهذه اللحظة لكن من منا تخيل أنها ستأتي بهذه السرعة؟ لكنها أتت أتت اللحظة التي لطالما انتظرناها زملائي مبارك لنا Good evening, President, Deans, honored guests, beloved members of the faculty and staff, parents, loved ones, and fellow graduates. Thank you for joining us on this very special day to celebrate the graduating class of 2023. Four years ago, I had no idea whether I would be able to pursue a higher education, but Haigazian University made it possible. I would like to personally thank Haigazian University's Board of Trustees, President Haidostian, and the donors of the Future Armenian Leadership Fund for selecting me as a recipient of the Falf Scholarship. Thank you for believing in me and giving me the opportunity to pursue my education and stand here with all of you today. I would like to express my greatest appreciation to my family 
my parents, and loved one for their continuous support, motivation, and the many fruit platters they made me during exam weeks. Thank you. Without another moment's wait, and on behalf of my fellow graduates, I would like to express our deepest gratitude to Haigazian University for the continuous support, motivation, opportunities, experiences, and strong sense of community it has relentlessly offered us through the past four years. I would also like to personally thank my advisor and mentor, Dr. Soha Safiuddin, <laughs> for continuously pushing me to do my best and opening doors to different opportunities. To my fellow graduates, both here and there, um, it has been quite the ride, hasn't it? We in 2019, we walked through these gates with bright eyes and even brighter dreams, but the reality wasn't always so shiny. Let us recap our collective experience of the past four years, shall we? 2019, revolution. 2020, Beirut port explosion. 2020 till 2022, coronavirus pandemic. 2023, multiple earthquakes. I think you can see where I'm going with this. By no means could our uni university experience be considered normal. Yet, this was our journey. So take the moment and taste it, because you have successfully reached your destination. Success does not happen overnight. You are not standing here today because of some miracle, but because of your hard work. As Amelia Earhart has said, the most difficult thing is the decision to act. The rest is merely tenacity. You woke up every day for the past four years and decided that you wanted this so badly that you would fight for it through a revolution, an explosion, a pandemic, and multiple earthquakes until you got what you wanted. The fact that you are standing here today is a testament to your tenacity. In the face of such fluctuating and varied adversities, you adapted, you persevered, and you made it through. You managed to complete an entire degree under all of these circumstances. And sometimes, as is in the routine of a semester at Haigazian, getting through November or April may have felt like surviving the Great War. But hey, you made it! So my fellow graduates, I would like to take a moment to applaud your work ethic, your motivation, and your perseverance. <laughs> of course, all of this would not have been possible without Haigazian's continuous support. As a final thought going forward, my fellow graduates, if there is one thing you remember from your time here at Haigazian, let it be that there is nothing more important than prioritizing truth, freedom, and service in all of your future endeavors. Today, we graduate. Tomorrow, we pursue new adventures. And just as you have proven yourselves the past four years, you can fight through anything to climb steep ladders, break glass ceilings, and reach new heights. Congratulations, class of 2023. Thank you.
remain standing for the benediction. And now may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all. Der Jesus Christos is Shnorka, astuzo sera yev hokvoin surpo, aortuchuna, merpolorin hedella. Amen. <laughs>